Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay, let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 learners! Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo sa inyong learning task 3, solve the following about addition and subtraction of polynomials. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinapalitan ko yung mga ibang given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo kasi mas magandang mag-solve kapag kayo mismo yung magsosolve. Alright? So, sundan nyo na lang kung paano ko siya sinolve. Number 1, the box is 2x minus 3 by x plus 5 by 3x plus 1. What is the volume of the box if x equals 5 centimeters? Okay, so ang gagawin nyo lang dito ay i-evaluate ninyo yung algebraic expression. So, i-substitute nyo lang yung x dito sa given na expression. So, that would be 2 times ang x is 5 minus 3. Diba ang volume ng box is length times width times height, kaya nga tatlo. And then, i-multiply natin yung x plus 5. Palitan lang natin ng 5 yung x plus 5. And then, 3 times 5 plus 1. Okay? So, ganito ang gawin ninyo dyan, ha? Palitan nyo lang ng kung ano yung given sa inyo. Kung 3 yung given ninyo dyan, 3 yung ilalagay ninyo dito. Alright? So, simplify natin. 2 times 5 is equal to 10 minus 3. And then, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Next is 3 times 5 equals 15 plus 1. Simplify again. So, that would be volume ito ah. Volume. Volume is equal to 10 minus 3 equals 7. Then, times 10 times 15 plus 1 equals 16. Alright. So, meron na tayong mga values. 7 times 10 equals 70. Then, 70 times 16, that would be equal to 0. 6 times 7 equals 42. Then, 1 times 70 equals 70. Add natin. That would be 0 to 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. So, ang volume ng box is equal to 1,120 cubic centimeter. Kasi ang unit na ginamit dito is centimeter. Tapos, may cubes dito. So, this is now the final answer. Alright? Okay. Number 2, the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals base times height over 2. If the base is equal to 10 cm and the height is 7 cm, what is the area of the triangle? So, ang area ng triangle is equal to base times height daw over 2. By substitution, that would be, ang base natin is 10 cm times ang height is 7 cm all over 2. Next is simplify ninyo. That would be 10 cm times 7 cm is equal to 70 square centimeters. Kasi centimeter yan na dalawa, multiply ninyo, kaya magiging square centimeter. Divided by 2. 70 divided by 2 is equal to 35 then copy the unit centimeter square. So, the area of the triangle is equal to 35 square centimeter. Therefore, the area of a triangle is 35 centimeter square. Okay? Number 3. The length of the rectangle is x squared plus 2x minus 2, and the width is 5x plus 6. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Ano ba ang perimeter ng rectangle? 
that is 2 length plus 2 width. Or pwede rin namang P is equal to 2 times length plus width. Okay? Pwede ninyo gamitin ito or pwede rin naman ito. So, ang gagamitin ko ay ito na lang. Kasi i-distribute natin yan. That would be perimeter is equal to 2. Ang length na given ay x squared plus 2x minus 2. Plus, ang width naman is 5x plus 6. So, as you can see, meron na tayong multiplication of polynomials. Pwede nating i-distribute yung 2 dito sa given na polynomial. So, that is P is equal to 2 times x squared equals 2x squared. 2 times 2x equals positive 4x. And then 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. Plus 2 times 5x equals 10x. And then 2 times positive 6 equals positive 12. So, you can see, meron na tayong subtraction and addition of polynomials. Ang pwede lang natin i-add ay yung pareho ng terms. So, pagsamahin natin yung mga similar terms. That would be P is equal to, yung 2x squared ay walang kasama, kaya kopyahin nyo na lang yung 2x squared. Yung 4x squared, may kapareho ba siya? Yung 10x. So, 4x plus 10x, that would be equal to, Positive 14x. Then, negative 4 plus 12, pag magkaiba ng sign, isubtract ninyo, then copy the sign of the greater number. So, 12 minus 4 is equal to positive 8. So, the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2x squared plus 14x plus 8. So, tingnan ninyo mabuti ha kasi pinalitan ko yung given yan. Number 4, from the sum of 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 5 and 2x squared plus 3x plus 8, take away 5x squared plus x minus 5. Pag take away, ibig sabihin mag-subtract tayo pero kailangan muna natin kunin yung sum nitong dalawang polynomials. So, kunin muna natin yung sum nito. So, 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 5. I-add natin yung 2x squared. Itapat natin yung mga similar terms. So, that would be 2x squared. And then, uh, ilagay natin sa huli yung negative 5 kasi may 3x dito. Positive 3x. And then, yung positive 8, itapat natin sa constant na negative 5. Then, we can add them. Since wala itong katapat, then bring down nyo na lang. That would be 3x raised to 3. 7 plus 2 equals positive 9. Kopyahin yung variable na x squared. Bring down positive 3x. Next, negative 5 plus 8. Magkaiba ng sign. So, subtract the absolute value. 8 minus 5 equals 3. Copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si 8. Ang sign niya is positive, kaya positive 3. So, ito yung sum. Ngayon, take away 5x squared. Tapat muna natin yung 5x squared. 5x squared. Tapos, positive x. And then, negative 5. Okay. So, minus yan, di ba? Ngayon, di ba, may rule tayo na keep, change, change. Ibig sabihin, palitan natin ito ng addition. At magpapalit ito ng sign. Magiging negative ito. Then, ito naman magiging negative, tapos ito magiging positive. Then, proceed to addition rule. Okay? So, bring down 3x cubed kasi wala naman siyang katapat. 9 plus negative 5 magkaiba, so isubtract ninyo. Obviously, that is positive 4. Then, kopyahin yung variable na x squared. Then, 3 plus negative, may 1 ito na numerical coefficient, ba? So, 3. Minus 1 is equal to positive 2x. Then, 3 plus 5 equals positive 8. The final answer is 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x plus 8. Nasundan ninyo? Okay, lastly, what should be added to 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 7 to have a sum of 4x 
raised to 3 plus x squared plus 5. Ano yung dapat nating i-add dito para maging ang sum niya is ito? For example, meron tayong 7. Ano yung i-add natin kay 7 para maging 15? So, parang ganito ang gagawin natin. Para makuha yung x, di ba? Subtract natin yung 7 dito sa 15. So, that would be 15 minus 7 equals 8. So, ganito ang gagawin natin dito. Ibig sabihin, from 4x raised to 3 plus x squared plus 5, i-minus natin yung 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 7. Nagets ninyo? Ganito yung ginawa ko ha, kaya naging minus na siya. Then, ang gagawin ninyo pag subtraction, di ba, keep, change, change. I-keep natin yung 4x cubed plus x squared plus 5. Then, change natin yung operation. Then, change natin ito. Magiging negative 3x cubed. Tapos, magiging negative 4x squared. Tapos, ito naman magiging positive 7. And, proceed to addition rule. Pagsamahin natin yung mga magkakapareho. So, 4x cubed plus negative 3x cubed. Pwedeng vertical method ang gamitin nyo. Plus, yung x squared naman, kapareho niya ito. So, x squared plus negative 4x squared. And then, plus 5 plus 7. So, grouping similar terms yung ginamit kong method. 4 plus negative 3 magkaiba ng sign. So, isubtract ninyo. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si 4. Ang sign niya is positive, kaya positive 1. Or kahit wag nyo nang ilagay yung positive sign kasi understood na positive na ito. Kopyahin yung x raised to 3. Plus, ba may 1 dito na numerical coefficient. Kaya 1 plus negative 4 magkaiba ng sign, isubtract ninyo. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Kung hindi nyo makuha yung 1 minus 4, Pwede namang 4 minus 1. So, that would be equal to 3. Copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si 4. Kaya, ang sign natin is negative. And, copy the variable. x squared plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. Then, isimplify natin. Kung 1x cubed, pwedeng isulat na lang na x cubed na lang. Tapos, positive to negative, negative 3x squared na lang yan. Plus 12. Okay? So, the final answer is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 12. Ngayon, kung i-check natin kung tama, kailangan i-add natin itong 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 7 sa given na nakuha natin. So, i-add natin yung x cubed minus 3x squared Plus 12. Kailangan ang maging sum nila is ito. Okay? Again, meron itong numerical coefficient na 1. So, 3 plus 1 equals 4. Kopyahin yung variable. Next, positive 4 plus negative 3 magkaiba. So, isubtract ninyo. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Or kahit huwag nyo nalang ilagay, that is positive 1 x raised to 2. Negative 7 plus 12 Magkaiba ng sign, so isubtract ninyo yung absolute value. 12 minus 7 equals 5. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si 12. Ang sign niya is positive, kaya positive 5. So, nakuha ba yung sum na 4x cubed plus x squared plus 5? Nakuha naman. So, meaning to say, ang pwede nating i-add dito ay x cubed minus 3x squared plus 12. Okay na, nasundan nyo na. Kung gusto niyo panoorin yung mga susunod na learning task mga anak, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin, kompleto lahat yon. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!